Okay. Hello. I'm not sure what you see me with the sunlight. Alright. Hello again. Uh, this is back with my um, EBG HHO work. And I decided to um, back up what I said in my last video. And to that end, I have to build uh, a working prototype. So that, that's what I'm at right now, and uh, it's come to a stop due to uh, lack of components. I've just used what I've had uh, laying around, and this is uh, my result so far. Right. This is uh, a circuit here. I'm just running out of components at the minute. Um, I found this old box here and decided to use that. A couple of spare knobs for the potentiometers. And, but uh, like I said, this is just stuff I'd kicking around the place. And uh, I fancy trying it with this here before I spend the money on the tubes. Let's see if we can. I think I can drop the gap down on them a bit. But uh, if I can get them to resonate as uh, Stan did with the tubes as a water capacitor. Um, he, he did do work with flat plate. I know that. That was some of his later work. And uh, possibility that this configuration here might um give something on the power of the output of the, the tubular design. Although this here would be a lot easier assembled and put together just for the layman, you know. Get a bit of flat stainless and boom boom, you got a cell. That's to that end, I'm uh, everything I'm doing is with the ethos of that any fellow with a garden shed and some handyman tools can put this together. It, it's not high science. It's not. It's not rocket science. And uh, like I say, I'm trying to trying to work with that ethos. And a lot of the stuff I'm using is just uh, at one time or another had another purpose. And I'm still sitting in the landfill, <laughs> sitting on my bench. Okay, so that's uh, that's that's my uh, uh, progress, <coughs> and I had a few thoughts on um, the uh, output from the water fuel cell. Um, Stan also had in his patents the the output of the fuel cell running the EPG so that that's another possibility, another thought without having to uh, uh, what do you call it make up the unit to produce the, the gas that, that runs in um, inside the EPG but uh, I'm getting there uh, today uh, hopefully I'll go out and uh, gather up the components and actually spend money on this thing um, I went out and spent money on, on the EPG. Not a big lot, you know. Um, well, I'd say about £100 on the EPG. And I'll possibly spend about £80 on the water fuel cell. Um, possibly less. I'll do a tally at the end and see what it's, what it's actually cost me. And uh, to give an idea of, of what you know, what can be done. I definitely reckon under a hundred pound I'll have the the fuel cell itself together. Um as for the the heating the the water heater, I've uh, I'm gonna have to fabricate that and that'll probably be in steel. Um although could do it in aluminium. But that, that's gonna put the cost up and the the difficulty of, of building the system. Uh, again, I'm up trying to keep it down and sort of stuff 
you know, that uh, the average fellow of the shed can knock together. But, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to get this thing up and running. I'm going to back up what I said. And, uh, well, till then, peace, enjoy yourselves, have fun.